Hello, I'm Jerry Fort. I'm gonna do a corned beef hash review. This is from Libby's company. Um, this uh, review is for a subscriber. Becky's still subscribed. Haven't heard from him from <laughs> for a while. Hist historicist um, wanted to see a corned beef hash review. Uh, also mentioned Uncle Ray's and barbecue chips. Um, those are a little difficult to find. I think only one store has them. Um, maybe soon I can get those. Anyway, so <clears throat> this is going to be a long video, I have a feeling, because um, I'm going to show the whole process and I'm probably not going to edit anything. So um, you can fast forward to the actual trying of it if you want to. I, I won't be offended. I won't even know you did it, right? Um, <laughs> so, uh, so here we go. So this is... Um, you got uh, heating instructions. You can do the stove top or you can do microwave. I don't have a stove in here, so I'm going to use my microwave. Um, so um, uh, microwave is empty hash into microwave safe dish. Um, cover and microwave on high two minutes or until hot. Stir before serving. Okay, so <clears throat> oh, let's see. Microwave safe dish. Um, can I not use a paper plate? I have to use a dish. I don't know. It didn't say... It says a dish. It doesn't say... I don't know. I'll use a dish. I'll use this. It's stone... It's stoneware. Um, microwave safe, it says on there. Okay. So, let's get this thing opened. Um, sometimes, just getting these things open is a chore. Um, I, I don't have an electric can opener here. I got this. So, um, we're going to use this. Let's just hope that it works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. It just depends on what kind of mood it's in, you know? <laughs> smells good. I mean, so does dog food, so... <laughs> No, no, it smells good. It looks like dog food. Get off there. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So use this old I don't like I don't like uh, I don't like wasting things you know I just use this for butter it's not gonna hurt to use this for the for the hat for the corned beef hash um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna eat all this so I brought a little container to put the other half in to take home or something all right so let's uh, let's get it all out of here Trying to keep it away from the sides where there could be some metal from opening it up. I don't know. See some nice potatoes in there. Um, <clears throat> I think that's what those are. The ingredients corned beef, corned beef cured with salt, sugar, sodium nitrate rehydrated potatoes water partially deeted chopped beef contains less than two percent of gum arabic and natural flavors arabic how do you pronounce that that's why i've been pronouncing it for some years
corned beef hash has been around a long time. Man, that's a lot of food. Wow. Let you see it. That's a lot of food. Okay. All right, so... <clears throat> so let me go ahead and I'm going to... I don't want to heat it all up, so... I'm going to take out just about what I'm going to, to do. Okay, I think I'm done with this knife. I think I can retire this knife now. I've used it two or three times. Put it in my, my recycle bin. Okay, so let me just take out... a pretty good chunk in there pretty good nice potato taste nice beef taste <clears throat> lightly salty um, yeah that's pretty good all right so let me get my bearings here um, what did it say how many minutes two minutes okay I'm going to get up and I'm going to go over to the microwave and I'm gonna put it in there for two minutes all right so in the meantime I wanted to I wanted to use a couple pieces of bread and use um, or toast to use it for a like a sandwich corned beef and hash sandwich um, from what I from what I understand you can use corned beef hash for many ways different ways um, I've seen them put an egg on top let the yolk you know bust over it um, uh, you can scramble eggs with it mix it all together um, that's really all I know but it seems to be the type of food that you can use for many different ways um, I'm gonna use it on a piece I'm gonna, I got a heel I don't mind the heels um, I'm thinking I'm thinking toast I'm gonna I'm gonna toast this piece of heel and I uh, also got some salt and crackers and what I'm gonna do is um, corned beef hash I use mustard with a lot, um, but in uh, the little refrigerator that I borrow, I've, I've still got some uh, tapatio. Hopefully it's still good. It still smells good. I'm going to try a little bit of that on like a cracker with, with some corned beef hash on it. And I got some Valentina. Still smells good too so i'm gonna try just see what works see how it tastes because uh, it's something kind of different you know um try it on this on this toast um as a sandwich and just kind of make a little uh make a little 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 variety lunch here out of it let me put this in my cooler so it stays cool Looks like it got done pretty good. Let's give it a stir. Oh yeah. Let me just make sure. Ooh, yeah, it's hot. Okay. All right. So this is a brand new mustard. So let me get the seal off here. All right. 
Sorry for my rushing. I'm just try, trying to uh, get the process going sort of quickly, you know, so that we're not, not going to make it a 30-minute video. But I don't know it could end up that way. But like I said, I said in the beginning, fast forward if you want to. All right, so let's get this let's get this on this piece of toast here first. I'm just going to make sure I saw something that resembled a hair, but I don't think it was. Like it was just a piece of uh, piece of beep or something. I don't know. Okay. All right, so let me just take a bite of this. Um, ah, after it's cooked, you get a more of a beef aroma after it's heated up. Um, smells really good. Libby's has been around for a while. This tastes really good. Um, you know, maybe y'all seen, um, 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 the Road Warrior, one of the Mad Max movies, Mel Gibson, where he's, uh, I think it's the second one, yeah. He's setting, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, he's setting up, up, up on a hill and he's kind of watching what's going on down below, him and his dog, and he gets his can. Um, and I think it says like Alpo on it or something. It says dog food. And uh, he gets it and he opens it up and he's eating out of it, you know. And it kind of resembles this. It probably was a corned beef hash. I mean, is he really going to eat a dog food? You know, I'm, I, I don't know. Mel Gibson might. He's <laughs> he just might. But the the Mad the uh, Mad Max series, all those three movies are um, the old ones. I like the new one too, but um, I'm a big fan of, of those movies. Have been for many many years. Okay. <clears throat> So yeah, good beef taste. Potatoes are good in there. Um, just nice flavor. All right, so I'm gonna put, put a little mustard on here. I fold, I fold like if I'm doing something like that, I'll fold them over like that. I mean, it makes sense. Let's just take a chance that it's still, um, that it's, that it's at least, it's cool. <laughs> mm, it's still a little hot. Mmm, man, that's good. That's good like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, where are we at? 14, almost 15, 14 and a half minutes? I'll finish the rest of that sandwich in a bit. Let's get on to the other tasting. All right, let me get one cracker out. That's broke, my figures. One cracker out for the Valentina, and one cracker out for the Capitillo. <clears throat> Let's get one cracker out for... I got enough for just salt and pepper. 
And I know it's already lightly salty, but put a little bit on there with some pepper. I don't know if pepper would be good on corned beef hash or not. Um, pepper goes good. Pepper goes, black pepper goes good on a lot of things. Um, okay, let's first try. <clears throat> let's try, I'll use this broken one for the, for the salt and pepper. Oh, these are saltines, so they already got salt on them, too. There. Not a whole lot. Oh, this is... That's salt. I've oh, got some peppers in here. There we go. Make me sneeze. I'm loud when I sneeze. Both cats jump, almost reach the ceiling when I sneeze. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, can you see the pepper on there? Black pepper. Yeah, I'm getting that feeling in my nose. To sneeze. It's good. That is good. All right, let's do. Uh, let's do. Let's do some. Valentina. I haven't had any Valentina on anything for quite a while. Ooh. See that in there? That's good on there. That's really good on there. Now let's try. Now let's try some tapatio. Okay. <clears throat> I think it's probably cooled down by now. Oh, wow. Oh, that was hotter than the Valentina. Um, you know what? Hmm. I'm thinking that I like the Tapatio on there better than the Valentina, but they're both really good on there. Um, all these these ways I've just tried are all doable, and they all taste taste good on corned beef hash. This has been an enjoyable lunch. I have a um, a great value one up there too. I'm gonna do. Um, <clears throat> that should be fun to open. It's one of those key 
takes the key that you twist it around. So that'll be an interesting video. Um, I've had trouble with those before. And I ended up making it a, a three-part video. It was before I had editing. Um, I have editing now. It just takes a little planning to, to get it done. So to make sure Jeremy's not busy. That he can do that for me. All right. I'm finishing off my sandwich with the mustard on it. This has all been really good. All right. I'm going to end it there. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you, Hister... Where did he go? Histercist for the suggestion. Hopefully you're still hanging out, hanging out on my channel. I didn't, you know, disappoint you or bore you too much to, that you go away and go find someone else to watch. And, uh, <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Did I, already, did I already thank everybody else for watching? If you watch this whole thing, I applaud you. Congratulations for having the patience to sit there and watch me do this process. <clears throat> yeah. See you on the next one. It'll probably be about the same amount of time. Hopefully not any longer. <laughs>